What's up everybody, I'm Nick DeLisi, 2022 catcher at Our Lady of Good Council. I'm committed to East Carolina University, and this is a day in a life. Uh, so I started playing baseball at the age of five. Um, I started playing, I think because my dad signed me up for t-ball and I was just interested in it and I watched some MLB and I kind of wanted to, to be that when I grew up so that's kind of how I got into baseball. I really wanted to go down south. Also, I love the coaches, Coach Godwin, Coach Palumbo uh, were great. I love them and that's really what influenced my decision. And when I visited down there, I love the campus, great atmosphere and great fan base. So that's, that's the main reasons why. Recruitment was pretty cool. Um, they came and watched uh, my, one of my games in Georgia. They came back for another one and um, just talked to them on the phone a little bit. Uh, got familiar with one another, kept talking, and eventually uh, they offered and, and it was the perfect fit for me, so I committed after that. All right, so the biggest thing I'd say for somebody that's uncommitted in high school looking for an opportunity, just relax, remain humble. I just say go out there and let your actions speak on the field. Um, definitely get your work done in the classroom. Don't talk on social media. Um, just remain humble. Stay consistent in the weight room and on the field and get your work in behind closed doors. I don't really think, I mean, there is some pressure. I don't necessarily feel it though. I think there's always gonna be pressure, but you just gotta show up and you gotta show out. I think the most important thing is just being consistent. Everybody's kinda gonna know your name in high school, so it's more about just staying humble and getting it done on the field, letting your actions speak for themselves. Number one, got to go with Nolan Arenado. He's great, great hitter. Love watching him. Two, got to go with, got to go with Yadi. Got to go with Yadi, one of the best catchers ever. And three, uh, right now, got to go with Sal Perez. He's lighting it up. Just set the record for all-time home runs for a catcher. So definitely him. They're all three great players I look up to for sure.
All right, so some game day superstitions I have. Whenever I'm getting dressed, I always put on my left sock first, always, and always put on my left cleat first, as well as my left leg protector, everything. Always left, and day of, I always eat, right before the game, I always eat a, uh, a protein bar, for sure. My walk-up song from this past high school season uh, was 4 p.m. in Calabasas by Drake in Care Package. I picked it because it was just kind of hype and it also started right away and I always hit well with it, so I liked it a lot. Some strengths I think I bring to the game, definitely my IQ, usually reading every situation that can happen, and uh, also my arm and my defense as a catcher, defense is super important. A weakness I would say is definitely my speed. As a catcher, speed isn't necessarily important, but it's definitely a part of the game, so I definitely, definitely say speed slash base running. Favorite baseball memory? Gotta go with my first home run. I was like 10 or 11. It was late at night, it was dark, it was cold. We were losing and uh, I had an absolute bomb, like bomb. And uh, my first home run, definitely. I'll never forget that. All right, so today we took rounds off the tee. We did some front toss, hit on field off the heck attack, and we also threw to every single base around the diamond. And that's the day in a life. <laughs>